It makes me so sad. Hi, I'm Nick, and today we're making fried chicken, biscuits, and gravy. Before we start making our biscuits, it's important that all of our ingredients are as cold as possible. For this reason, you should freeze your butter for about 30 minutes before you start working with it. We're going to cut the butter into small chunks. We're going to put this cut butter to the side. We're going to mix all of our dry ingredients, that's our flour, sugar, salt, and baking powder into a large bowl and mix that all together well. We're then going to add the buttermilk to the dry mixture and mix that until the shaggy dough forms. After we've mixed our dry ingredients with the buttermilk, then we will add the butter and start cutting it in with two butter knives. Our goal here is to get the butter into small cubes and it's okay if it's not all gone. We want to knead the dough in the bowl with our hands until all of the flour is incorporated. And then we're going to flour our cutting board and knead for 5 minutes by hand. We want to let this dough rest in the fridge between 15 minutes and half an hour. And then we're going to generously flour our work surface, flour our dough and our rolling pin, and then roll out the dough into about a half an inch piece. If you don't have an actual biscuit cutter, you can just use the rim of a cup or glass. We will flour the rim of the cup and cut out our biscuits. Any dough that's left over, we can repeat the process and roll out again. We need to generously butter a baking sheet. and then place our biscuits evenly spaced about two inches apart to give them room to rise. If you want the biscuits to brown properly, you need to add a fat to the top. You can use butter or you can use egg whites. We are going to drizzle the top with a little bit of olive oil. We're going to place our pan into a oven preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. Once the biscuits are done and you open them up, the inside should be flaky and layered. Next, we're moving on to our white country gravy. The first thing we need to do is prepare our meat. In this case, we are using bacon and pork sausage. A breakfast sausage works best, but you can use an Italian if you prefer that. We want to get a pan hot and add a little bit of olive oil and then start cooking our bacon. We're then going to add our sausage, but make sure that you break it up into pieces so it cooks evenly. Our next step is to make a roux. And because we already have the grease from all the meat, we can use that as a replacement for the butter. So we're going to add flour to this mixture until it becomes a thick paste that we can use to thicken our gravy. Once your roux is formed, we're going to add milk. We used an entire half gallon in ours. You have to make sure that you pour it in slowly because if you don't, the flour will form into lumps. Next, we're going to season our gravy and we're going to use a lot of the seasonings that we're going to use in our chicken batter as well. In this case, we're using crushed red pepper flakes, salt, ground mustard seed, oregano, and garlic powder. Nick, we want to allow this gravy to simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. As it simmers, it will thicken and the flavors will develop. 
Next, we are moving on to our fried chicken. We're going to be frying boneless chicken thighs. Chicken thighs are dark meat, so they have more flavor and more fat, so they are better for deep frying. We're going to completely submerge our chicken thighs in buttermilk. We're going to rub the buttermilk into the chicken until it's all completely coated. And then we're going to let it sit in the fridge for at least one hour, but overnight if possible. Next, we're going to put a good amount of flour into a flat pan that can fit in your chicken thighs. And we're going to liberally season this flour. After all of the seasonings are in the flour, we need to mix it all together. The last step for our flour is to take some of the buttermilk that our chicken has been soaking in and add a few tablespoons of it to your flour and mix it around. This is going to make the extra crispy pieces of the batter that don't break down in the deep fryer. We're going to pull a thigh out of the buttermilk and let the excess buttermilk drip off. We're then going to put it into our seasoned flour and make sure it is completely coated. After it's coated, we'll shake off any excess flour, and then we can move it to the deep fryer. We want our oil to be around 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And because these are chicken thighs and they're a little thicker, they're going to take 10 to 15 minutes. You want to keep an eye on them and make sure they don't burn. Ideally, you're looking for a nice golden brown color on the outside. Thank you for watching Cross Country Kitchen. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more recipes like this every week.